My partner wants to name our baby boy after his late mother, but she was a monster-in-law and I can't stand the name, so now I want to leave him. My partner lost his mother suddenly in March. She took her breathing tube out of her nose to blow it, and because she was half asleep, she forgot to put it back on it and drifted away. When she was found, it was too late. It was peaceful, and honestly, it is the way I would want to go. With nothing but peace and comfort. I found out I was pregnant seven months prior. We had a name picked out. After her passing, however, he decided to change our child's name to his mother's name. Do you know when a person gives a name such a bad taste in your mouth? That's what she did to this name. She wasn't a horrible person per se, but she wasn't the best. She had moments where she was wonderful, but most of the time, she was, don't take this the wrong way because I hate to speak ill of the dead, a monster in law. She wouldn't take care of herself. She would get taken to the hospital, get attention from her children, get back into good health, get sent home, and when things returned to normal and the attention sufficed, she would do it all over again. She always needed her children's sole attention. She needed to feel important, wanted, needed. It made me feel bad and honestly broke my heart that she felt she needed to do this all the time to get any attention. Now she is gone and as much as I loved and miss her, and believe me, I do, I do not want that name associated with our child. I don't want to think about her every time I talk to our child. I don't want the stigma I have towards that name forced onto our child. We have argued over it. I have tried to compromise by making it a middle name. I have tried to add a name to it so it's one whole name but he won't budge. I have told him we already have a name. He won't budge. I'm at a point where I want to leave him because it's being forced onto me, and I don't want it. I want our child to have a name that has nothing to do with anyone we know. Our son has his stepdad's name as a middle name. Our daughter has his grandma's name as a middle name, and our oldest has his stepdad's mother's name as a first name. I want this child to have something simple and beautiful. I don't want to be reminded of someone who was so toxic to herself that it ate away at others. Can someone give me some advice on what I can do? Please, I am at a loss. I honestly don't want to do this with him anymore because of how he is acting. I caved with every other child, but this name I cannot and will not cave on. I love the name that was already chosen. Edit. I'm not a doormat. I find it rather cruel that a few of you have said that. I agreed on our other children's names before they were born. I need advice on how to handle this without breaking his heart and being respectful and tactful but also showing him this isn't a good idea. Also, I did love his mother. She was a very damaged individual and made it hard to love her, but I still did. I respected her and cared for her deeply. I find it horrible that this is even being questioned. She did bad things, but that didn't make her a bad person, just a lonely, sad person who made mistakes. As for people saying if a name is a reason to separate, then you are a problem. It's not that at all. It's the fact that we had a name already chosen, and he has now, in the midst of grief, changed it to a name that was never discussed. I feel like I have zero say. It may be hormones prompting this. I want him to heal, and I want to heal. Even his sister thinks it's a bad idea. I have him in grief counseling, and she wants to help me with this. We will go together and apart. I will do all I can to stand by him during this process. I will not talk about the name any further with him until he has had some time to come to terms with things. I will continue with our plans to name her what was originally agreed upon. Thank you, guys. Update. Hello guys, I know it's been a month, but I wanted to update you on the situation since I made my last post. Well, guys, a big twist to our story. This whole time it's been confirmed as a girl until two weeks ago, we are having a little boy. Every ultrasound has been wrong. We went to my final appointment, and the high-risk doctor confirmed we are having a little boy due in two weeks. It broke my heart to see him shut down in the office. He actually left my appointment. He became distant, so I sat down with him and we had a talk after our babies were sleeping. I'm going to give our son his mother's surname as a middle name. It cheered him up, but I get that it's not the same. Things have drastically calmed down since we got his mom's ashes back. I bought him a beautiful necklace urn for Father's Day, which has his mother's picture and a beautiful quote on it. He can have a little piece of her with him forever. He doesn't know about it yet, but I know he is going to love it. His therapy is going well, as is mine, and as is our daughter's. We are all healing very well. We are stronger than ever. Thank you all for the advice, good and bad. Edit. He was already in therapy before we found out our girl was a boy. He left the room during the appointment because he knew his mother would never get to know we were in fact having a boy, and he was sad about it. He had already returned to the original name after the grief therapist explained why it wasn't a good idea, and he agreed it wouldn't be good for him to hear. He has been actively doing therapy. So have I, and so has our oldest. Everyone saying he would have gone behind my back, I really don't think he would have. Maybe I'm being naive, but I was starting to see him again, 
not the person I've been seeing since her passing. He communicates again. He is still actively doing therapy, both grief and other. So am I, and I will continue that also. He isn't the best, but he isn't bad. As for the naming situation, as everyone is after me about, I have no family. My mother left when I was 10, and my dad did unspeakable things to me, so I have zero family. Naming my children after family would be a heartbreak I could never fathom because I am, in fact, alone. So for everyone who is harping on the fact that I didn't get to put my family's name here, that is the very sad reason why I don't have a child named after anyone in my family. Now you know why.